On the following grids, how many different paths can take you from point A to point B, assuming you can only travel east and south here? Now, okay, I've changed this up a little bit here. I said east and south here when I threw this down here. So really what I'm doing here is, yeah, I'm getting kind of lazy. I prefer to kind of work from that corner to this corner. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever here. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. Any path that goes from A to B, you have to think about it in terms of the line segments that you're crossing, okay? So for me to go horizontally this way, to go east, there are one, two, three, four, five line segments that I have to go east over, okay? So that's, that's going this way. Going down, okay, there are one, two, three, four line segments that I have to go south across. Now, don't worry, don't worry about these horizontal lines when you're going down here. Worry just about these little line segments that those horizontal lines kind of mark out. So I'm basically just counting the little spaces here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so any path that goes from A to B is gonna have nine blocks that you would have to cross. If you think about these as streets, okay, and you got two streets here, there's a block, one block in between them. If you got three streets, there are two blocks kind of from this street to this street right there, okay? So, but this is like laying out the letters of a word. East, 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 whoops, east, south, 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 south. This is like having a word that has nine letters in it, uh, five of which are going east, uh, four of which are going south here. So. How many ways can I permute that? Unique permutations. Well, it's nine factorial if you treat them all as if they're different. And then we're gonna divide by the repetition of the E's and the repetition of the S's. Okay, when we go to our calculator and plug that all in, we'll get that there's 126 unique pathways that take you from A to B. Now, we're gonna use this same idea when we come over here, okay? Now, and again, I wanna go, I wanna go from here to here. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever that this is coming up this way, but it makes, it's just easier for me to follow if I go down that way. Now, I have to go through point C. To go from this point up here to this point way down here, I gotta go to point C here. Now notice that this doesn't exist, okay? That those two parts of this overall grid don't exist. They've been removed here. And now I've just got these two smaller grids linked at that one point there. So for me to get from A to B, this is what my path has to look like. I have to have a path that goes from A to C and C to B. And remember that the word and implies multiplication. So first of all, I'm going to ignore that second grid there. Okay, any path that goes from A to C is going to go east twice and south twice. So it'll be this east, east, south, south. There will be four blocks that I have to cover, so four factorial, over two factorial, two factorial. Now, I have to multiply that by the number of ways I can go from C to B, and that's going to go, be going east, 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 and then south, south. Okay, so I've got this east, 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 south, south. There are five letters there, three of which are going east, two of which are going south. And so again, that's like it's like organizing the letters of a word. And now I'm just gonna multiply that all out. And when you do, you get that there are 60 unique paths that take you from A to B. Now please don't, don't treat this question overall the way we did this one. Don't think of this as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine different uh, uh, letters in the word uh, what is it, five of which are going east, four of which are going south here. Because that number is like more than twice as big as this number right here. There's all sorts of paths that we've eliminated by eliminating those parts of the, the grid, the overall grid, okay? Because bear in mind, this piece right here is just a chunk of this one, okay? It's just us putting a little dot right there and saying you have to go through that point. That eliminates a lot of options here. So treat these as two separate grids and then multiply the results together.